So I have the Samsung Galaxy A35 5G and in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you what to do in case you've forgotten your password, pin or pattern and you're kind of locked out of your Samsung Galaxy A35 and there's really nothing you can do to unlock the phone, okay? So to bypass a forgotten lock screen, uh, password, pin or pattern, you're going to have to hard reset your phone. Now keep in mind that this will erase everything on your phone, but then you'll be able to bypass that particular password. Also, if you have a Google account on the phone, when you're setting up the phone afresh after the reset, you're gonna need the password to that Google account to allow you to continue with the setup process. So you might have forgotten the password, pin or pattern, but you must not have forgotten the Google account password that's on this particular phone. Now, if you've forgotten that, then there are plenty of ways you can uh, reset that password. You can use a computer. Make sure you just have the password to the Google account. Anyway, so to hard reset, you're gonna have to go into recovery mode. And for that one, you'll need a computer that is on and the data cable that came in your phone's box, okay? Now, of course, you can use any other data cable that you want, but the one that comes in the box is the best, okay? any other data cable will work regardless. So once you connect your phone to the computer via a data cable, and this could be any computer, it could be a Windows computer, it could be a Mac or even a Linux computer, as long as it's a computer. So what you're going to do here is we're going to force shutdown and to force shutdown, we're going to long press the power button and the volume down button. And we're going to hold these two buttons down until the phone goes off. As soon as it goes off, we're going to switch the volume uh, finger from volume down to volume up while still holding the power button until you see the Samsung logo and then you can let go of the power button, okay? That's going to put the phone in recovery mode, okay? Because when you don't have the password pin or pattern, it's impossible to turn off the phone. That's why we are doing this, okay? So let's start. So I'm just gonna turn off the screen and then, so side button, volume down, press and hold. Just keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Screen goes off, switch to volume up and then release the power button. As soon as the Samsung logo appears and the phone should boot into recovery mode. Now, sometimes you might miss, like this time I missed. So let's go ahead and try again. Let's allow the phone to boot up and then we're gonna try again. All right, so let's give it another shot. So power volume down, press and hold. Let's keep holding, keep holding. Switch to volume up. Samsung logo appears, let go of the power button. And there you go, this time uh, we were uh, right on it. So inside recovery mode, you want to use the volume rockers to scroll up and down and then use the side button to select. So we're going to scroll to wipe data slash factory reset. Select that using the power button. And then it's going to warn you that this will wipe all user data, which I already explained. So scroll down to factory data reset using volume down and then press the side button to uh, select that. So as you can see at the bottom, you're going to see the progress. When you see data wipe complete, it means the factory reset has been completed. And now make sure reboot system now is highlighted. If it's not, then you can scroll and make sure it's highlighted and then press the power button to select that. And that should now restart the phone after performing a hard reset and it should restart the phone back to the original or the first setup page the welcome screen so here we are back on the setup screen so now from here we're just gonna start the setup process so we have to accept that I'll quickly go through this process, set up manually, 
choose Wi-Fi network. Just let's quickly connect. And at this point of the setup process, it's going to ask for the for uh, the password, or pin, or pattern, which is the one you forgot. So you're going to bypass that by tapping on use my Google account instead. So tap on that. Then you'll have to sign in with a Google account that was originally on this phone before that had reset. So I'll just enter my Gmail address and password. And once you sign in successfully, you're going to be given two options. One is to use a new account or add previous account. Now, most of the time you just want to continue with your own Google account. So choose previous account. If you want to use a different Google account, then tap that and sign in to that new Google account. But uh, since I want to use my old previous account, I'll just choose add previous account. And then I can continue with the setup process, having bypassed the uh, password pin or pattern. Okay. Now, if you're asked to restore from a backup, just tap on don't restore because uh, restoring from a backup will require the password, which you forgot. So I'll skip this quickly. Skip the Samsung account. I'm just skipping everything so we can go quickly and I can show you that you can get back into your phone. And that's it. So that is basically how to bypass a forgotten password pin or pattern on your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. You might have to lose all your data, but at least you have access back into your phone. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.